Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Leeds and you're watching Get Germanized, the scariest places in Germany. In place number one, the Waldmiel Horstadt Nursing Home in Schwalmtal, North Rhine-Westphalia. What looks like a beautiful and spacious nursing home from the outside was a place that could hardly be more cruel during the Nazi era. In the asylum, horrible atrocities were committed against mentally handicapped adults as well as children. The children there were put to sleep with luminol. A total of 99 children and 405 adults died here. In second place, the submarine bunker Valentin in Bremen. Directly on the Weser River, on the outskirts of Bremen, a huge concrete colossus disturbs the rural adult. With a length of 420 meters and a width of almost 100 meters, the former submarine bunker Valentin is probably the largest bunker in the world. However, the concrete giant was not intended to shelter people, but to assemble submarines. The goal was to complete a submarine every 56 hours. However, the war was over before the submarines could be started. At least 6,000 forced laborers were killed in the construction of the bunker. This gave the concrete giant the sad nickname, Germany's largest tombstone. In place number three, the ghost forest of Nienhagen in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. Forests are eerie and eerily beautiful at the same time, especially in the dark. A particularly eerie specimen can be found in Nienhagen on the Baltic Sea. The trees, some of which are 120 years old, are mostly bare and twisted by the salty sea wind. Especially in fog and a little wind, the forest has a ghostly effect. Not infrequently, walkers report eerie sightings of ghosts in the ghost forest. In place number four, the Basso Adventure Pool, Bad Schmiedeberg in Sachsen-Anhalt. After the political turnaround, a lot of subsidies were invested in various construction projects, including fun pools. And in 1993, the first fun pool in the new federal states opened, the Basso Adventure Pool, which immediately enjoyed a great popularity. But the joy and enthusiasm did not last long. More and more newer and even more modern adventure pools were built in Saxony, and the small pool in Bad Schmiedeberg simply fell into oblivion. In 2009, it was finally abandoned for good. It is still a scary place to visit, nevertheless. This abandonment still attracts visitors to this day. In place number five, the Southwest Cemetery, Stahnsdorf, in Brandenburg. Welcome to the Delic Forest Cemetery in Stahnsdorf. With its 200 hectares, it is the 10th largest cemetery in the world. Thousands of graves line up here, and the large trees and old gravestones create a particularly eerie atmosphere. In addition to Berliners and Brandenburgers, many soldiers are also buried in the Forest Cemetery. Especially in the area of the graves of the English soldiers, it is said to be haunted. Walkers report seeing ghosts and feeling watched all the time. Here, the ghosts themselves make sure that their resting place for the dead is preserved. In place number six, the Forbidden City of Wünsdorf in Brandenburg. Another eerie lost place is located about an hour from Berlin. The unassuming looking Wünsdorf was once home to tens of thousands of people. But today only ruins and bunkers tell the story of the Forbidden City. After the end of World War II, Soviet forces took over the town and turned it into an independent Soviet city. They built hospitals, schools, recreational facilities, stores, and even a railroad line to Moscow. The name for Bidden Town was given to Wünsdorf because hardly any Germans were allowed to enter the town. Only about 1,000 employees were allowed to come to Wünsdorf to work. Now it stands abandoned still. In place number seven, the ghost mansion of Fern in Lower Saxony. The overgrown garden the overgrown fences, and the empty, slowly decaying house reminds of horror houses like the one from Resident Evil. This particularly atmospheric haunted mansion stands in idyllic Ferden and is supposed to be the site of paranormal activities. For Ferden teenagers, going to the haunted mansion after dark is a common test of courage. What they sometimes discover is truly spooky. Animal carcasses 
pentagrams and other clues from black masses that are said to be held there in secret time and time again. Creepy people and ghost hunters visited the mansion and agreed that there was a sinister energy in the house. Many local residents also report that the villa is haunted in and around. And place number eight, House Fühlingen in Cologne, North Rhine-Westphalia. Hardly any other house in the Cologne area is surrounded by so many creepy stories as the Fühlingen house. According to legend, thousands died on the grounds in 1288 during a bloody battle of the knights. Several ghosts are said to haunt the grounds. The ghost of a forced laborer murdered in 1943, and that of a former Nazi judge who hanged himself on New Year's Eve in 1962. In 2007, young people discover the body of another man who is said to have hanged himself in exactly the same place. And place number nine, the Offnet Höhlen, a nerdling in Bavaria. The Offnet Caves attract many visitors every year. Parts of the once huge cave system can even be visited. In 1908, researchers made a gruesome discovery here. On the skull of 19 children, 10 women and 4 men. It seems as if the skulls had been cut off shortly after death and then placed in the cave with skin and hair. For the researchers, it is clear. These 33 people were victims of cruel rituals. In place number 10, the Ordenburg Castle. The Ordenburg Castle, which in its present form dates back to the late 16th century and is almost completely preserved, fascinates with its rich history. On the side of today's castle, it was already a castle since about 1120, parts of which were integrated into the later castle. Several conflicts led to repeated destruction and subsequent reconstruction. The castle was witness to violent intrigues and bloody conflicts, but it was also home to great men and women who distinguished themselves either by their special firmness of faith, bravery and charity, or by their special sense of art. But here, more than just the spirit of history is said to circulate. These were the ten most haunted places in Germany. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, you know what to do. And if you don't, go to hell. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.